Awol Shalom Rastafari. This will be part three for uh, Rastafari, Rastafari um, <coughs> sab- sabbatical, the sabbatical studies and the Sabbath studies, the Torah portion readings and feedings. And this Shabbat, the Torah portion, is the beginning of the Hebrew book of uh, Vayikra, uh, Vayikra, which actually, let's bring this up right here, which actually is, uh, if you go to the wiki page, you'll find this right here. And as we said earlier, and we repeat again, this is the, this basic study. This is basic primer study. We have to at least be familiar with this. You understand? It's accessible. It's in the English, right? And if we study it, right, and study the available evidence, information, and data, and then as we then begin to grow in our knowledge of the royal Amharic, the Metzhaf Kedus, right, then we can really um, know the truth for I and ourselves. Now, this is a very important season, and the reason for the season is Pesach, right? The reason for the season is uh, Passover, now, in the Old Testament sense, that was coming out of Egypt, right? In the New Testament, or the Adis Kidan sense, it has to do with the true cross, right? It has to do with the true cross of Christ. And I brought this up right here because from Blacktown, this is a graphic from blacktown.net. Let's see if we can bring this over a little bit more. It says, which... Right, one is a crucifixion, right, and here we see the lynching of the black man, right, or the Hebrew, really the Ethiopian Hebrew in the Americas. Now, we don't say this for any false pseudo libtard sense of oh, racism, racism. No, 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 this is truth. Some people say, oh, be colorblind. No, we have to recognize what Yeshua said. He said about the whitewashed. Right, they're whitewashed. They were whitewashing, even in the time of our Black Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, and He rebuked them. Should we do any different today? So we have to first of all know what the true cross in Ethiopia, and then the true Ethiopic Church, right, the Tawahedo Beta Christian. We know of the of the um, of the Holy Day and Remembrance Metasebia. That's known as the finding of the true cross. Have you found the true cross of the black Christ, of the true Christ? But in this world, in order to clarify and to, and to um, give sight right, to the blind who have been blinded, right? because he said, in the land of the blind, the one-eyed man is king. And we know the one-eyed man is the so-called, they call it the, what they call it, the Ill- Illuminati, right, or the secret societies, or the, we call it the mystery of iniquity, right? But the mystery of iniquity, at the heart of it, we have to understand the um, spiritual wickedness in high places. So for ones to um, see this, and but, but be naive this. The only way that this is, is, is Christ is if we've drained him of all of his blood, right? We've drained him of his, of his divinity, of his melanin, of the black dot, right? But then if that was so, then he would not be who he be, right? So he is who he is. Now, I show this, and I'm, I'm doing this as I seek to always on the inspiration, even though sometimes I prepare certain things and there's certain things I want to share and to say with the brothers and sisters as I begin to speak and those who have spoken in the Holy Spirit, you know that you will begin to say and you'll say what you're saying, but then the Holy Spirit will give you as you are saying. And even later on, you'll be like, I know that was the Holy Spirit. I didn't, folks who listen will be like, wow you know, a certain level. How did you know all that? And if you're honest, you have to say that I knew a little and I worked with a little that I knew faithfully and accordingly. And because of my um, faithfulness, right, in doing, he gave more. He says, open your mouth and he will fill it, 
right? That's the opening of the mouth, speaking the truth, not making up anything, right? But speaking what you know is truth. And this goes beyond the so-called First Amendment right. It's good that there's a First Amendment right. And because that, that right protects our God-given right, we must give thanks for it, protect it, and use it, and utilize it, and recognize that even the naysayers, and those who are led astray, the deceived and deceivers, that they also have a right, you understand, to speak, right? But it says anything you say against you may be used against you in jail court of law, right? Now folks say, well, we're not under law no more. We're under grace. Yes, but have you not heard that there's an end of this age, the end of this age of grace? This is one of the reasons why so much truth is coming forward. So we have to pass over from low degree to high degree. And this is what this particular Torah portion, I find it so interesting that in this particular season in March of 2013, that our Torah portion reading and feeding actually corresponds with the main underlying subject matter and theme that we find in the Pesach, in the Passover. And thus we have to also bring this up as well. Right? This is uh, by a uh, brother named um, Simon Ushakov, Last Supper from 1685, right, 1685. So even up to 16, now, that, 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 that day, that, that date, 1685, that data right there is very important. Let's bring this down so you can see it for yourself right here, 1685, right? That data is very important. Because as we calculate it, right, we have 1492, we have the 1600s. Some say blacks came to the, or brought, not came to. We came to America from Ethiopians, ancients, from ancient times. But in this dispensation, right, we was brought here, right, in fulfillment of Deuteronomy, right, Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. Go read it. Right? Go read it for yourself. And when you know the history, then this mystery of the Scripture, both the mystery of God in Christ, right, our black Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, as well as the counterfeit mystery, the mystery of iniquity, becomes so, as it said, crystal clear right, for all eyes and willing hearts and minds to see, to know, and hopefully to receive the half of the story that hasn't been told until now. Receive the truth. Right? But we know that there's many that don't love the truth. So they'll suspend belief. You understand? They will, you know, um, you know deny. they in denial. But I and I are coming out from these low degrees, from ignorance, from the spiritual house of the bond age, this age of bondage. Right? This age of bondage. And this is why the Jubilee, the significance of the, this being a Jubilee year, 2013, and the theme of also the black genocide, black holocaust, the Ethiopian holocaust, and all up into, even to the higher levels of spiritual wickedness that we see going on with the whole Petrus Romanus, everyone wondering after the beast and, and where the lost sheeple are, and so-called black people are in the wilderness and in America. And we touched on the Jonah, right, the Jonah prophecy. So even with Simon and Jonah, remember that Simon was known as Bar-Jonah. He was the son of one named um, Jonah, even, even Peter, the real Peter. You understand? Not the Peter file, right? Get that right there, the real Peter. So we have this counterfeit image right here that many have been led to believe in, and we're all the while ignoring the real example of the crucifixion, right? They want to make us think that what our ancestors, our forefathers and foremothers experienced in this Holocaust, right, in this Hebrew Holocaust, well, what is a Holocaust? That's what's very interesting as we study this particular Torah portion. So let us seek to make a little more of the connection right here, right? Let us look at this particular page right here. And we want to touch on this, the Black Madonna, this in Gamarium, 
right? The Ethiopian Black Madonna of Hala Selassie, Hala Selassie's Black Madonna, this didn't get Maria, right? This, see, she should be the example, right, as well as the righteous woman of the scriptures and not like ones like this Pope and Olivia Pope from The Scandal. Yes, I watch the show. I think the actress is a very... Um, Oh, effective, good actress, as it said, you know, and she should get more props in a sense. I mean, I mean to display the role that she display. I know some folks are like, oh, but it makes black people look such and such and such. It is what it is. You have to know thyself, as it is said. You see, it's because folks don't really know themselves, right? And they therefore they don't have a love of the truth. See, when you know who you are, you can know who you are, but not love that knowledge. You see what I'm saying? If you don't love that knowledge and you know more of who you are, you know, some black folks, they know what we're saying right here is true, right? They know what we're saying right here is true. I mean, I find it so interesting, the, the hypocrisy, right? So we're coming out of all of that, all that malice, all that hypocrisy, because Christos, right, because Christ, even Christ in his kingly character, our Passover is sacrifice, has been sacrificed for us. So on this theme of sacrifice, and here we are um, looking for some of the images to the video. Sometimes we find these images and then we use them as stills. So ones and ones. Oh, is that one of I and I brother in there? I don't know if this is one of I and I. Um, Ross, Ethiopia. I haven't spoken to you, bro, if you're still watching Ross, Ethiopia in a while. I mean, this is beautiful right here, right? Is this His Majesty? This is His Majesty with little, little Kennedy over there. Can you see that right there? That's His Majesty right there with little Kennedy, right? And then you know the father they they had assassinated, right? Um, here's His Majesty with um, I think this is Basilios, Abuna Basilios, right? This is this is La Libella. Of course, this is Abba there as well. So they also have crucified on a political, the political world stage, right, our father. So what they did to the son, they've also done to the father. Okay, and then now the counterfeit. You see how the counterfeit comes along? You see the counterfeit just pops up. You see, so when we cross out from low degrees to high degrees, all these things become obvious for all I to see, right, for all I to see. So a couple of more of these right here. We'll get into some of the details right here. That one, Vonk out too, right? Sometimes it's interesting when, you know, just going through a search of some of the the images out there, you know, like if you're searching for, for say, a page or subject matter, you can also go and, and, and flip mode it to image, some of you probably already know that, and you find some interesting images corresponding, right? And then sometimes, oh, wow, you see this one? We didn't have this in color before, right? You see His Majesty, His Majesty know what, what, about what's going about to happen to Kennedy. So why is he bowing in a sense? He's not bowing, but why is he nodding with his head, bending his head? Because he knows what is grace, giving more grace even to the wife of the soon-to-be-assassinated president, all right? And um, that, that's a very interesting, you know, very interesting view right there. So we've got we to gotta actually check out this page a little bit more. Sometimes we get caught up looking at some of the, the images out there, right? Because then some of the images, you click on them and you check out some of the pages and some of the ideas associated with these images, you know, in our study to show I and I self-approved. All right, my brothers and sisters, we'll go through this a little bit more. And, and of course, here is, um, here is yours truly, right, I and I. So let us um, go forward right here. So we have the Passover, Pesach, right? We have the true cross. And it's that finding of the true cross that is also very, very important to I and I. And when we speak about this right here, right, and we speak about what went on, the sacrifice, because many of them were beat, hung, lynched, burnt, because what they did, right, to 
our Adonai, they've also done to us. You see, but we don't want to, many of our lost sheep don't want to know. And when they can't avoid the knowledge, you know, sometimes you throw the knowledge at one and they can't avoid the knowledge of what you're saying, right? They can't avoid that knowledge of what you're saying. You know what I'm going to do? Let us uh, pause for the course and make this uh, another part. Like I said, this is for those on the channels that can't get a full broadcast. So stay tuned. Shalom Rastafari. <laughs> 